So finally going fishing. Um, it's probably gonna be my last trip of the summer. Um, just because I start start school Wednesday, which is probably when this video will be up, which is the seventeenth. I'm not sure, 100%. I need to go change now. Or my jeans. So some there. Actually, before I change, I'm just gonna bring two baits with me, two plastics, uh, three technically, but two baits, just two variations. First one is I'm gonna bring two packs of robo worms. Um. Marker the mutilator, the, the first color was. The second one is um, Morning Dawn. Uh, I'm just gonna bring some Senkos after that too. So I guess that's. Also, I did get some of my chest mount stuff. I gotta get that out before I forget. So, got it fixed. Um, not fixed, I just bought some new ones. So let me just go change. And I'll see you guys out on the lake. So here we go. Oh yeah, off the robo worm. It's a dank, but it's still a fish off the robo worm. Hey, come, calm down, buddy. There's another one down there still. Hey, calm down. Come down, come down. Ah, oh, yes, off the robo worm too. Saw me eat that one. Tiny fish, but ooh, jeez, stop it, dude. Calm down, buddy. I saw me eat it too. He just hit the water and he slammed it. Too bad it. Little Gamagatsu hook. There he goes. Ah, where's his little friend, too? There's a little baby somewhere. Just using the Moon and Dawn color. Thank you, Cornell, from YouTube Fishing Vids. This is how I'm just kind of drop shot it, hook rigging it a little bit. That one drops it. Let's see if we can get his little thing. It's all I saw him get it too. Oh, his friend has it. His friend has it. There's another one. <laughs> the two back to back. Oh, he threw this through the robo worm. Those things are not durable. Oh, this one's bigger. Come here. It's two back to back off the wo robo worm. Just only ended the video, but nobody grab my, my wo robo worm. Ah. Fish. That was my moment. These aren't durable, I need to buy some more. Difficult getting out of here. Die to me, this dude. So I rigged this one differently, now the head's torn a little bit. <laughs> Just bit it off, that's what I did. It's really salty. We're gonna do this one differently since it just bit off the head. We get it's two bass in like five minutes, so I'm not, I'm not even here this way really, fishing here, so knowing that it's like four o'clock in the reading. Good sign. Come on, bass, turn around, bass, turn around, turn around. Bass on there, blue oh, The bass is it. Oh, yes, he has it. He has it. Got him. <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh. Slaying him on a rubble worm. This 
crazy. Okay, go away. Turn you down there. Okay. It's a ro <laughs> Not the one I wanted, but... Tank again. <laughs> oh, gee, he just slammed right in me. There goes my rubble. Man. Oh, come here, buddy. I thought, I thought that was a bluegill at first. He's so small. Dude. Just sitting there. Drop it. Oh, oh he's there. It's fish number five. There. Dude. It's fish are hyper. It's mono. Dude, stop. Just a couple old ones down here. Fish number five. Barely got him. Bye. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go, fine. There's one. Fish number six. Oh. Ooh, biggest one today. A, A. Shit, the line went through him. Hey, calm down, boy. Calm down. There you go, fish number six. <laughs> Is oh, dude, there's a two pounder down there. I gotta get him back. You're going back. Bye. He turned around. I should have not done that. He's good though, I think. There's a big two pounder down there. This is really fun. Like six, right? I think so. Let's see if we can get that two pounder, two, three pounder. They fight hard though for, for, for such small fish. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, fine. There we go! Oh, come here! Lost another... Ow, he just poked me! Come here. Seven. I'm using a robo-worm. What? Okay. I'll give you my last one, I'll use my... The one hey, calm down, dude. Dude, you guys don't want to give up, don't you? Dude, I can't get this hook out. Hang on. Okay, fine. We got the hook out. Hey, I'm not you little fish. Come here. Hey, hey. Okay, calm. Dude, you, let, you just got a hook in my hand. Fine. Feisty fish. Get that two pounder though. That is good. So I guess I work my way back. Over to a spot where I saw a decent sized bass. Um, I guess I'll just let you guys know what I was work doing while working my robo worm. Um, I was kind of, you know, letting it, I was pitching it out. I was kind of finessing it, it's kind of like a drop shot a little bit, but not quite. Um, so it's obviously it's summertime, so I've incorporated some summertime uh, tactics into it. Pitched it. I just kind of put it where I thought some fish would be or saw some fish, but I put it behind them. I'd let it sink down. I'd wiggle a little, I'd like as I'd wiggle a little, little bit, give like a soft, like a jerk bait kind of thing. Then I like, do some slow, finessey stuff. 
give like one or two twitches and then on the fall after the twitch they'd hit it so I guess that's what I guess that's what I've been doing um, not quite the setup that you used the robo worm but it works got some good okay size fish but now it's gonna find those big monsters not monsters but big fish two pound bass in two pound range hopefully I can get four pounder which would be cool maybe if a sinker or something then I'd probably use the Cinco later. Yeah, that's the size I've been catching too. You just caught one. What were you using? Nice. So I kind of understand why now, why Cornell from YouTube Fishing Biz uses this a lot. It's killer, but he probably has like 7 billion packs in his tackle box. Um, just because these are not durable but they catch a lot of fish, that's all that really matters. If he catches fish, it's, that's all that matters to me, to be honest, if he catches fish, you go up to the dock. But, kill the color, I recommend these. So does Cornell from YouTube Fishing Bids. Oh, fish, fish, fish. That's just sitting on the bottom too. There he is. Oh, that's a nice one too. Should I swing him? No, I'm not swinging. No, I'm not swinging him. That was on. No, he's peeling drag. Okay, pillowing this. Come here. Don't throw that worm. Don't throw the hook either. Oh, he swallowed it. Oh, oh he swallowed it. I should have set the hook earlier. Here's my robo worm. Looks deep down like my pliers. He swallowed it. I don't want to risk taking the hook out. Yeah. Um. Would be a good spot. Of. Okay. There it goes. He's good. Yeah, he's still on there. It's a catfish, I think. Yeah, it's a catfish. Dude, it's a big channel cat. I've never seen a catfish pull out pull, pulled out of this lake before. Really? Yeah. The first time actually. I've seen him but never caught him. Yeah. I have a scale if you guys want to weigh him. <laughs> um, he's five nine. Five nine. It's a big catfish. I'll put him back. You want to put him back? Yeah, you don't mind. You're welcome. Let go of it, bro. Let go. Here, okay. Open your mouth for you. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Nice one. Yeah, so I just got some line. And the jig fell out, but yeah, I got a jig. But yeah, there's a package of stuff right there. Sorry, no, no offense, but I got some really cool stuff. You know, I'm excited. First of all, I'm going to start with the line. I got some Power Pro 30 pound monster.